and welcome back, friends, to another lesson exploring the divided bead frame. Look at how divided it is. Now, last time we looked at short division. This time, let's look at long division. Um, what exactly is the difference between short and long division? Do you know that? Yeah, well, short division has one digit in the divisor. Long has more. And we're going to try one of those today. You're going to need a piece of graphing paper and a pencil and a strip of paper for the divisor. Oh, and you might as well make one of these fantastic, flashy divided bead frames. All you have to do is print out the template, slap it on a piece of cardboard, cut some stuff out, wire and string it up, put some beads on, and you're ready to divide and conquer with me. Well, if you are ready, let's do a problem like 35,917 divided by 42. And this time when we write it, let's use a tableau. It's that little thing that looks sort of like, uh, you know, a tableau. Let's put in our divisor, 42, and the tableau, and the dividend, 35,917. And that's what it looks like. See that beautiful tableau? Hmm. Okay, on our bead frame, let's get our dividend set up. Seven units, one ten, nine hundreds, five thousands, and three ten thousands. There it is. And our divisor will write on a strip of paper, making sure to line it up with these categorical holes. So four tens, two units. There we go. And where exactly do we put this? Where do we start? Remember, we have that metaphor of how division can be like a tiger. Would you stick that tiger in the biggest box first or the smallest box? Exactly, the largest box you have, avoiding all those scratches and bites. We're going to start right here with our ten thousands and thousands, and taking away a group of four and two. Exactly, we can't do it here. There's nothing to do. Uh, we're sort of looking at 35, and that's just not enough for our divisor. So we slide down to the next two categories, the thousands and hundred thousands. Now, when we record our answer, we're going to be recording it on the hole that matches right here. It's the hundreds. So we'll see things dropping down on that in a moment to give us the first digit of our answer. Ready? Here's a group of four and a group of two. Sliding one down. Oh, there's not enough left here, but we can exchange from here. There's one, exchange, two, three, four, and a group of two. Slide another one down to record that answer. Group of four, group of two. Group of one, two, three, exchanging four and one and two. Four and Whoops, we're going to have to exchange there. Four and two. Exchanging. One, two, three, four, and two. Whoops. And four and two. And actually, that's the furthest we can go now. All we have left, sort of looking at 23, and that would never give us another 42. Let's see what we were able to do. We got rid of eight groups of 42. Let's write that down. And we're writing it down above the hundreds. Look at us go across our tableau. Okay. And the next thing to do is to slide that divisor down. Let's take away another group of 42. Well, we can't yet, right? We've got to sort of do some exchanging. So one, two, three. Exchange, bring that down, and four. And actually, we have to exchange again in order to complete that one. All right, let's bring one down. Another group of four and two, bring one down. Another group of four and two, bring one down. Okay, let's exchange. And another group of four and two, bring one down. Another group of four and two, bring one down. And there we go for now. We have a little bit left over, but we can't do anything more for now. Let's count up what we have on our tens digit. Five. And let's record that. 
we're one step away from seeing our answer. So far we have 850, and oh, 850 what? Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's find out. We're going to slide down to our next one. All right. Well, let's take away one, exchange, bring down, and there's the rest of that, and there's two. There's a group of four and a group of two. There's a group of three. We're going to exchange to get rid of that last one, and there's two. A group of four. There's one. Let's exchange and two and four and two, and we're through. We don't have enough left. We actually have something left over there. Uh, let's see what that is. Yeah, seven, right? And how much did we get for our answer? 855. So an 855 with a remainder of seven. How cool is that? Well, if you had 35,917 donuts, 42 people came in and uh, could actually eat enough donuts to make it worthwhile. Each of them would eat 855 donuts, and there'd be seven left over for you to eat. Don't get a stomach ache. So make one of these bead frames and learn how to divide and conquer just like me. It's pretty fantastic, and I can't wait to see you do it. Bye for now.